just approaching the uh, border now so we've got a border crossing coming up there's a trucks all waiting at the border and that's it that's your border crossing so that's a border crossing into Belgium just uh, filled up with fuel uh, I don't know if you can see this but I'll open my door while I'm just waiting for Christine uh, that pump on the end with the uh, little green button above it that's gas so we still have a lot of that in France so if we wanted to fill our tanks up that's where we'd fill our gas tanks on one of those Anyway, it's a prepayment here, so Christine paid 150, but we only put 121 quids with her, I think it was, so she's gone back to get the uh, difference. Well, we're in Luxembourg. It's been a fair old drive down. Christine's done really well. And... Uh, we're spending the night at the back of this church. It's a little village just outside Luxembourg. So this is our stop for the night. And then it will be up early through Luxembourg into Austria. I think we have to stop and get a vignette. And uh, down through to the other side. So, but this is our... Um, stay for this evening nice well we're having a little bit we've just been talking to uh, uh, an English lady that lives here in this village so when uh, she was telling us that uh, these pictures the artist that does them actually lives in the village somewhere so Anyway, she did make us feel quite welcome, so I feel actually quite happy about parking around there. So, the orchestra. Well, it looks like there's a few um, houses with these paintings on them. Who's telling us that actually Luxembourg's a f great place to live? They told us that um, the infrastructure for the country is just brilliant, hence the uh, poo bags or boxes. But, uh, how cool is that? Alan Welter made that. That's absolutely brilliant. Oh, fantastic. I can't believe he's done these. Apparently there's some of the buildings have uh, been pulled down now that he's actually uh, painted. I mean this is, <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't expect to come across any of this but they're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. But 
Will they please we stopped here now? Mm. I think there's another one just around this corner. I don't know if he charges for these or mm -hmm. whether it's his hobby or whatever, but uh, I can tell it's a village because here comes the tractors. <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that? Um, we just have a little bit of a nosy around the village and I've just gone in front of the van and there's this by the bin and uh, it's uh, for bags for putting dog poo in so <laughs> you can actually uh, help yourself and, uh, can't get hold of one but they're in there proper like a paper bag that's brilliant We'll have a little bit of a quick walk around the village in a minute, I think. There's another one. How brilliant. Must be the uh, movie theatre. Wow. How fantastic is that? bit further down the road there's this bin is it uh, so Actually parked at the back of this church. There's another one here on the left for the uh, where the horses at the stables. Looks like he's done all the signs and everything for this town, by the looks of it. It's, it's absolutely terrific. Really, really nice village. And um, I'm not, I'm not, I am going to cross over, but is this a garden centre? I mean. <laughs> These things that are marking the entrance to it. Brilliant. Terrific. What a very different village this is turning out to be. Um, not on my tea yet, by the way. And it, uh, it'd be knocking on a bit. 
it's nine o'clock at night, but we felt we needed to have a walk around the village before we actually have tea, because we'll not get a chance to see it in the morning. But, uh, well, terrific. How enjoyable is Luxembourg? Mm. There's the uh, garage, I think. Not really sure, to be quite honest. Advertising power food, so. Mm. 